We are so honored to have a group of World War II veterans with us today in historic Studio D. Absolutely. Each one of them played an important role in helping ensure our freedoms. And for that, we say thank you. Yeah, the men and women who served our country during that time have some amazing stories. And thanks to a group of local third, fourth, and fifth grade students, some of those stories have been preserved for future generations. With each passing year, World War II moves further into the history books. But for this group of third, fourth, and fifth grade students in Wicomico County, it just got a little closer. It was such a great experience just to like learn about him, and I think that's the only experience like knowing a World War II veteran I'll ever get. Kara Lewis and 140 of her classmates recently wrapped up a four-month-long project called Historical Documentaries, preserving the past for future generations. Our goal in the unit was to allow students to develop an understanding and an appreciation for the personal sacrifices made by the men and women who serve our country. The project had students interview a World War II veteran. It felt really good to learn about um, our, the history of his experience and it was just really fun to um, find out all the fun facts about him and just really get to know him. I loved how we got to interview an actual veteran and like we could get first-hand experiences right from the, um, someone who was there at the time of the event. To help preserve these memories, the students collected photographs and memorabilia and arranged it in a photo documentary book. I loved um, being able to record those stories and thinking about how people in maybe 100 years would be reading what I'm writing right now and know about World War II. The project concluded with the students presenting a copy of the book to their veteran. I loved it. They were just out of this world. It, it, it's, it was a thrill to me because of the fact to see that the young people today are taking interest. It was just wonderful fun. I just enjoyed it. I love those kids. They're just great. And these are the brightest of the bright, too. Which gives Colonel Robert Cook hope for the future. These young people are so inspiring. I look at them as the future of our country. We've got some bleak times right now, but we have children like this taking charge. I'm sure we'll be okay. High praise from a member of the greatest generation. And after talking with the students and the veterans, it was hard to tell who enjoyed the project more. <laughs> and so joining us now to tell us a little bit more about historical documentaries is teacher Kelly Hamilton. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you us. for having me. I'm thrilled to talk about this experience. Thanks. So great. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. It was an amazing project. I mean, what's it like to watch your students get so involved in something like this? It was amazing for a teacher's standpoint because they were self-motivated these veterans came in they generously took their took their time to come in and share their stories and as soon as our students met them they were captivated and they absolutely wanted to create a documentary that would honor them for their service to our country and so there was no stopping them they were doing research <laughs> they were watching the interview over and over oh and over again they were painstakingly going through the photographs and memorabilia that the veterans brought in to make sure that that every page was perfect and I think on May 11th when they were presented with the finished photo documentaries I think our veterans were proud yes wow so so is this is these this are yes Can we look? I'm I would love for you to look this is um, mrs. Powers book and that's yeah. mr. Colonel Cook's book Colonel Cook. oh, who is with us today, who is with us today? Yeah. Yeah. Colonel oh, and mrs. Powers is also with us today so whose idea was this um, we have been talking as a TAD team. I'm not the only TAD teacher. There are four of us. And we've been talking about this for several years. Actually, this is our third year doing this unit. Um, but we've always wanted to do something where our students were preserving history and listening to oral histories. And there's no better way to learn about history than from the people who experienced it firsthand. Yeah. And so we talked about how do we, how do we incorporate this. And then, by chance, I had read an article about Frank Baker, who was a local World War II veteran. Right. Um, and in the paper, in the article, he said that, you know, he fought a major battle in Iwo Jima, but the battle he was fighting at home was that the younger generation didn't really care um. about his sacrifices and didn't really care to learn about World War II. And when I shared that with my students, they were angry. Aww. They were like, that's not true. We do care. And so I said, how do we prove him wrong? And we invited him in. Okay, so we have the books, which yes. is the end product. Can the viewers see them? Absolutely. Um, 
through funds generously donated by the Wicomico County Historical Society and by friends of Wicomico County Libraries. We have books at the Edward H. Knapp Center at Salisbury University for people to look at and also in Wicomico County Public Library. And each um, intermediate school in Wicomico County also has copies of the books because of Ruby Brown, principal of North Salisbury School, and Carla Lewis, um, our media um, supervisor, also purchased books. Yeah. Yeah. And these I are think very it's really nice. Cool that the books are, these are, you know, photographs of the actual yes. lecture that they saved over time. This and is on incredible. The history and a lot of their documents, too, which I thought was incredible because they're very proud of the documents, you know. Mm -hmm. they're, and so those are in there as well. And that's our plan is that for their families, that can be passed down from generation to generation, but it's also at these research centers. So my challenge to your viewers is to, we're not the only ones that can do this. Mm -hmm. Anybody the can capture thing. these stories. Yeah. And we have technology in the palm of our hands with cell phones. Yeah. And take that cell phone out and videotape someone sharing their stories. Um, this shouldn't be the end of it. Right. So right. I encourage your viewers to go out there. And the Library of Congress would love to have those oral histories. And the Edward H. Knapp Center right here in Salisbury University would love to have those stories. And yeah. it takes a wow. few minutes. And you benefit, but also the person benefits too. And that's what we saw. We anticipated that our students would benefit from this program. What we didn't anticipate was our veterans and how much they appreciated what we did for them. Can I just share this one real quick? A picture of George Patton. <laughs> and it says, when Colonel Cook, who's here with us today, arrived in Germany, he was assigned to the Third Army. General George S. Patton was the head of the Third Army in 1944. His forces played a key role in liber liberating Germany from the Nazis and Hitler. Can we get this book? Um, yes, you can purchase the book through Walmart website. Unfortunately, Walmart's transitioning to a new website, so they're only available through May 31st, which is very disheartening to us, oh. but it is what it is. So, yes, anybody can purchase these books, and there are, we highlighted 17 World War II veterans this very year. Very nice, very nice. Cool. And, and you can, you don't have to buy them. We want to just point no. out and reiterate, you can go to the NAB Center uh, at Salisbury University or the Wicomico Public Library. They also have That copies. is we correct. That, and your students, your children have access to them at the Wicomico County Schools. All right, Kelly, great program. Thank, Thank you. you so much for doing Thank this. You I so know much. you enjoyed it, the students enjoyed it, and I know Jimmy's oh really goodness, enjoying it. Oh my this is incredible. <laughs>